What attracted me about Baikal is uh, the size, the amazing size of the Siberian countryside. Because I'm French, and um, as, a, as a French or as a Western European, we are used to a very small countryside. Everything is perfectly, uh, everything is like a garden. And when you arrive and when you travel in Russia, you discover a, a country which is completely huge, uh, with no limit, no horizon, uh, no fences. And it's very am amazing for, uh, for someone which is uh, uh, very fond of uh, nature and wilderness. For 20 years, I used to ask the geography to, to give me the inspiration. And suddenly I decided to remain, to stay in this hut for uh, six months and to travel in my mind, uh, which, which is quite the antipode of what I used to do before in, in my uh, traveler life. And uh, the paradox is that uh, uh, my book uh, meet the most of public when I, when I, I stopped to do what was my, my nature. I think that it was a very, very old idea. I think that it's a very common idea. Um, you know, it's a, it's a children idea to, to go to live in a hut. Uh, um, I think for a chi the children, they are very uh, clever because they know that they have to escape from the very ugly, adult, um, little uh, mediocrity. And uh, they know that the kingdom of the children is in the woods and in the trees, and that's why they are making a hut. And so that it was a children's dream which was uh, floating in me. Uh. I think the most important thing I learned in this hut was uh, that uh, I was very uh, full of fear about the flowing of the time and I was always trying to catch the time and to control it. I was using the time like you, you use a, a bag when you are packing and you try to keep more and more and more stuff in your bag uh, even it's, if it's uh, already full and that's how I use from the time and I think that in the city uh, we use like that the, the time you, 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 don't, you don't hear the time flowing and in this hut I, I learned to do that and I, I was aware that uh, to be boring is sometimes a way to fertilize, to fertilize yourself you, you just sit, uh, I, I have never done in, in 38 years uh, in, uh, of my life, and I, I never stayed up to, uh, up to this uh, trip, I never stayed uh, 15 minutes on, on a window just looking uh, at the snow uh, falling. I mean, it's a very common idea, and a lot of people, they don't need to go in Siberia to do that, but me, I, I had to do it because I, I was quite uh, excited by the life, but to, and, uh, and I had to, to, to uh, 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 close myself in a hut far from in the middle of nowhere just to learn that that you can you can spend a very great moment with doing nothing no I think the, the, the three main um, uh, luxury that I felt in this hut was the quality of silence, so, yeah, amazing silence, amazing silence, the loneliness and the cold. And I think that these three categories uh, will be a very uh, luxurious product tomorrow, in the world of tomorrow.